The U.S. Department of State Anthony Blinken and his Indian counterpart, Dr. Jason Kart, met at Washington, D.C. to discuss various issues. However, both diplomats did not discuss the role between India and Canada over the killing of a Kalistani activist who was wanted terrorist in India. Carlo de la Peña reports. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's uh, a pleasure to welcome my friend uh, and colleague, uh, Farmer Mr. Jai Shankar, here to the State Department, back to Washington. We've had uh, very good discussions over the uh, last weeks, of course, at the G20 uh, in New York at the General Assembly, and I'm looking forward to pursuing them this afternoon. Well, uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, good to be back here. And uh, we, of course, had the Prime Minister here this summer. Uh, we thank the U.S. for all the support at the G20 summit. Uh, and I actually look forward to seeing you in Delhi. Uh, I look forward so, to that as well. You. Thanks, everyone. This is what India Foreign Minister S. Jaishankar and U.S. Secretary of State talked about during their meet on Thursday in Washington, D.C., amid the India-Canada row over the killing of a Khalistani activist Hardeep Singh Nijar, a wanted terrorist by India in the Interpol. However, reports said the issue did not come up during the meeting between Blinken and Jaishankar. To recall earlier on Thursday, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said he was sure that Blinken would raise the killing of Nijar with his meeting with Jaishankar, and that Washington has given its assurance that the allegations against India will be raised. Despite this, there was zero mention of the issue during the said meeting between the two top diplomats. They did not say anything about the diplomatic standoff between India and Canada over the death of Nijar. A reporter present at the press conference asked Blinken, but it went and answered as they headed out of the venue. What Blinken and Jaishan Kar talked about, however, were a full range of issues including the outcomes of India's G20 presidency, the creation of the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, and the continued importance of cooperation ahead of the upcoming 2 plus 2 dialogue particularly in the areas of defense, space and clean energy. Last week, Trudeau claimed that the Canadian government had shared evidence regarding the killing of Nijar with India weeks ago, and before this, he first claimed that the government was probing credible allegations that India may have a prominent role in the said killing. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nija. Last week, U.S. Ambassador David Cohen told Canadian CTV News Network that there was shared intelligence among five ICE partners that helped lead Canada make the statements that Trudeau made. On June 18, 2023, Nijar was shot by two unidentified men in a parking lot in Surrey, Canada. Indian authorities said Nijar was involved in the Khalistan separatist movement and had gained Canadian citizenship despite forging his real identity. Nijar was designated as a terrorist by the Indian government in 2020. Meanwhile, State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the U.S. consistently engaged with India on this issue and has urged the Indian government to cooperate. We have consistently engaged with the Indian government on this question um, and have urged them to cooperate. And that engagement and the urge for them to cooperate will continue. And in another twist of events, Trudeau said that his government is committed to building closer ties with India and that it is extremely important that Ottawa and its allies continue their engagement constructively and seriously with New Delhi, considering its increasing geopolitical importance. Reporting, this has been Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News.